Creating a synth riser is a really easy way to create a transition sound in EDM. I'm going to show how to do this both with a sawtooth wave and with noise. First, I have just a sawtooth wave. And to create a riser, we want to have a change in pitch over time. I'm going to use an LFO to do this, and I put it in a sawtooth wave shape because I want it to be nice and even as it rises. I'm going to click, drag, and drop LFO5 in the shape of a sawtooth wave under the pitch of my oscillator. Remember, this is the only oscillator I have playing right now because it's the only one that has the amp all the way up. Then I'm going to create a range, and usually this can be a couple of octaves for a riser. One shortcut in Massive when you're trying to create octaves and tuning is to hold down Option or Alt and click and drag, and that will jump to octaves automatically rather than going through single semitones. Depending on which way you set your pitch for the range, it will either rise upward or downward. And here it is in the opposite direction as well. Because I want this to be a riser, I want it to rise from three octaves below up to the octave I played it in. Then I can set my rate to however many bars I want the riser to last. So for example, I can set it to last two full bars based on the BPM. Just having a sawtooth wave by itself can sound a little bit dull, so try adding reverb to your riser to make it sound even bigger. To give this even more dimension, I'm going to use another LFO, LFO6, in the shape of a sine wave on pan, and create the range to be full from left to right. Then I can use a macro to control the rate of the panning LFO. So as the riser starts to build, I can increase the rate that it pans from left to right too. Let's hear how it sounds. And it's your choice whether you want it to build from being very slowly pan left to right to quickly or the other way around. We can use the same technique with noise to create a noise sweep or a noise riser. I'm going to turn off my first oscillator and turn on my noise. Now I'm going to drag LFO5 to the noise color. So as it grows, instead of the pitch changing, it's actually just going to change the timbre and get brighter and increase that intensity. I also still have the panning with LFO6 and the rate assigned to my first macro. It's also your choice whether or not you want to include reverb or both the oscillator and the noise to create this riser. Whether it's with an oscillator or with noise, creating a riser is a great way to create transitions with electronic music.